Hello, family. Hopefully you're safe and doing well. I wanted to share a, a video that I posted two weeks ago called Good News from a Reliable Source. It got a lot of great response. It inspired a lot of people's faith. It gave them hope. So I wanted to share it again. Also, uh, I want to share with you a free download of an audiobook that I produced in 2012 called This Time It's Personal. This audiobook will inspire your faith, it will help you examine your belief system, and it will remind you of the promises of God in your life and what you have access to. I think it's very important and it's very critical at this point in our day and time that we as believers understand who we are and what God has made available to us. So you can get the free download of this audiobook called This Time It's Personal at ndwc.elvanto.net. That's ndwc.elvanto.net. Enjoy this video, enjoy the message, receive the word of God in your life, and God will do the impossible for you. My whole life has been a miracle because my mother, her first two babies both died. The doctors gave her no hope that she would ever have her own children. In fact, the doctor gave her a list of adoption agencies and told her that she would never have her own children. My mother believed God and she spoke with faith in God to the doctor and she said, no, I am gonna have my own children. And he thought she was foolish. She went home, her and my dad prayed about it. And God spoke to them and told them everything was going to be okay. Long story short, I'm um, the baby. Uh, I have two other brothers. And so my whole life is a miracle to start with. I have seen the dead raised to life twice during my ministry. I've seen people come out of comas. I've seen financial miracles and increase that would defy logic. I have seen people receive miracles when the odds were against them and the world system gave them no hope. Well, this is very relevant because right now, the world that we live in is not giving us any hope. The situations that we are facing are dire and people's hearts are failing them because of fear. And they have a lot of cause to be concerned. We all do. But I want to share a few concepts with you um, that's going to help inspire your faith. Um, I was thinking a couple of days ago how with so much media frenzy and so many different uh, news agencies um, always posting updates and news, it's interesting. Most of them will say our sources tell us or we got it from our source. And what's interesting is you and I both know that the source is always going to be another human. Even if it's on a blog somewhere, a human wrote it. Um, this human's source is always another human. The problem is we all know that humans are not reliable. Present company included. And you and I can't know for sure that a human's viewpoint is not jaded because every human has their own agenda. We all do it. We're guilty of it. So I want to talk to you about the source that I have that I know to be true because I have lived in and continue to live in the physical manifestation and evidence that my source always promises me. I have seen so many miracles of healing in my own health that God healed me and people told me it wouldn't happen. My wife's experienced it. Uh, right now I'm shooting this video. Um, the Gulf of Mexico is my backyard. Some of you follow my post. Um, I'm looking right now at the bridge, the very bridge that I drove over last year and I looked at this condo in another building and I told God, I want the Gulf of Mexico for my backyard. 
And now I'm sitting in the building and the Gulf of Mexico is my backyard. Dogs don't play in my backyard. Dolphins do. And God gave me the desire for that. Told me how to believe. I spoke it. And now I'm living in it. I have a studio full of recording equipment uh, that's worth a lot of, obviously a lot of money. And I didn't pay for any of it. You understand? I owe nothing on it. God blessed me with all these things. And he told me how to believe. And he shared principles from his word so that I would put this in motion and achieve and accomplish everything he's called me to do. Now, I want to take you to one scripture, 3 John 2. Um, Beloved, I, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health. That's important. Even as your soul prospers. So it's interesting. The writer here is saying, I wish above all things. One translation, he says, I pray above all things that you would prosper, that you would be in health, even as your soul prospers. Now, if you study in the Greek, there are three different words here, and they're all equally important to God because God wants you to prosper financially. He wants you to be in good health, and he wants your soul to prosper. The word prosper here in the Greek is euodos. It actually means to succeed in business, to succeed in accomplishing your goals. It deals with fi finance, excuse me. And then the word health is hugiano, and it means to be free from debilitating disease and sickness. The third word, soul, is suke. It has to do with your psyche and your spiritual man. Notice they're all three important because you cannot fulfill your divine design if you're having health problems, if you're sick, if your body is broken down, you can't be productive. And if you're broke, you can't accomplish anything. If you're spiritually off track, you won't be in line with your mission. Isaiah 53, 5 tells us that Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And then it says, and with his stripes, we are healed. That was in the Old Testament. It was a prophet who was prophesying of the coming Messiah who would die on the cross for your sins and my sins, remove condemnation and guilt from us, and also paid for you and I to have divine health in our bodies. Jesus died before you were born, which tells me your miraculous healing and the promise of divine health was in place before you were ever born. But if you don't have the right information, you won't know that you can access all these things. Let me give you an example. When a person passes away, they often have an executor who will go over the will of the deceased and he will make the heirs or the family that's to inherit what the deceased left, he makes them aware of what they have access to. Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day from the dead. The Bible tells us he ascended into heaven, sent his spirit back to live inside us. What basically happened was the spirit of God that longs to live inside us, he's the executor. He is there to lead us and guide us and show us what his will is because he wants you to inherit and enjoy everything he paid for. It does not matter what people tell you you can and cannot have. Mark 9, 23, Jesus said, all things are possible to him that believes. He used a personal pronoun, him, it could be her, because a, your belief system is personal and exclusive to you. So Jesus is telling you, all things are possible to him or her that believes. He wants you to trust him and have faith in him when you need to be healed in your body when you're looking at the threat of coronavirus, when you're looking at the threat of cancer, when you're looking at the threat of unemployment, when you're looking at the threat of your family falling apart, anything you need, the Bible says that he has abundantly supplied all our needs already. He wants you to prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. 
with his stripes, you were already healed whenever he took stripes at the whipping post. You just now have to believe it by faith and not settle for anything less than your complete wholeness and wellness. So, coronavirus, do not be afraid of it. Didn't surprise God. Cancer, you don't have to be afraid of it. Unemployment, you don't have to be afraid. John 14, 27, Jesus told his disciples, he said, I'm giving you my own peace, my own shalom. Shalom there actually means soundness of mind and, and, and wholeness and wellness, uh, uh, material possessions and soundness of mind and body. He said, my own peace I'm giving you. And then he said, do not let your heart be troubled. Let means to allow. He said, don't give your heart permission to be troubled. Neither let yourself be afraid. Do not let yourself be afraid. So I got to get going right now. I might share more later. This is to encourage you and inspire you to believe the impossible. I came to give you good news straight from my source. And that's the word of God. And believe me, just as sure as gravity, his word is true. Just as sure as the law of gravity works, if I were to knock these books back here off the shelf, they would fall to the ground. Just as sure as the law of gravity is, so is every law and every principle of God's word. It's going to work for your good if you work it. If you turn to him and trust him, he'll take care of you. You might not know how to pray. You can talk to him like you talk to me. Go somewhere by yourself and say, God, I don't, know a lot how, I don't know how this works. I don't know a lot about this, but I need you to move in my family's behalf. I, I need you to take care of me. I don't know what I'm going to do about the job. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm scared. I'm dealing with fear. Show me what to do. And God is going to show himself in your life, and you're going to know without a shadow of a doubt that God took care of it. In the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody watching this video this battle in sickness and disease. And I am telling you, by the name of Jesus, by his blood that was shed, by the power of his word, and he cannot lie, that you are made whole in your body. Every organ, every cell, every blood vessel, every muscle, every bone, the blood that courses through your veins is made whole right now by the name of Jesus Christ. And you will have everything you need financially. If you lose this job, God will bless you with a better job, with more pay, even in a dark economic climate. That's the word of the Lord. And God will give you peace in your mind that passes all understanding. Tonight will be the best night of sleep you've gotten in a long time because the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep. God bless all of you. I love you. And just keep plugging away. Believe the impossible and know that God loves you even when you're confused and when you're struggling. He created you. You're his son. You're his daughter. He loves you, and nothing will ever change that. If you want to inbox me, message me, you can do that. Um, blessings to all of you. I love you. Take care. Don't quit. Bye-bye.